Alright guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned about the movement mechanics of the objects in our game window. So for example, if we do player y equals to minus equals to 0.1, then it will move in the up direction. So if I run this main, you can see that our spacious is moving in the upward direction. But right now we don't have any way to control this spaceship. We can't control it using our keyboard and this is exactly what we'll be learning in this video. So what we'll be doing is that when we press the left arrow key on a keyboard, the spaceship is going to move towards the left hand side. And when we press the right hand side arrow key, then a spaceship is going to move on the right hand side. So what is the algorithm to do that? So first of all, we are going to check whether any keystroke is being pressed on our keyboard. And after we check that, we are going to check whether the keystroke pressed is either left hand side arrow key or the right hand side arrow key. So we are going to do that. So let me just write down an if condition. Let me just remove this over here. We don't need it. So after that, um, let me just tell you one more thing. So any keystroke that is pressed on a keyboard is actually an event. And as we have discussed before that an event is anything that is happening inside a uh, game window, any kind of input control. So for example, if we move a mouse, we click somewhere, we close this uh, window. So this is a quit event. And similarly, when we, whenever we press any keystroke on our keyboard, it is a keystroke event. So for example, every event gets logged inside this pygame.event.get and we loop through all the events that are being stored inside it. And then after every iteration, so for example, let's say in the first iteration of this while loop, a keystroke is not being pressed, but on the 10th iteration, a keystroke is being pressed, then it will get stored inside this pygame.event.get and we'll be able to loop through that and check whether a keystroke has been pressed or not. So inside this, I'm just going to write an if condition which says actually before that, let me just add a comment so that you guys understand what we are doing. I'm going to write if a keystroke keystroke is pressed, check whether is right or left. So this is basically what we'll be doing. Not keystroke, a keystroke. Oh, gonna gonna mess up my spellings, huh? All right, keystroke. Can't get the spelling right, but it's all right. So anyways, how do you check whether a keystroke is being pressed or not? Pygame makes it really, really easy. It's kind of an event which is pygame.keydown. So this basically check if any keystroke, it doesn't have to be left or the right, it can be alphabet A, even backspace or space. It basically checks if any keystroke is being pressed. So first we are gonna do that. We are gonna write if event dot type, which we did inside this if condition. So we have to go actually inside this for loop. So we'll just press this tab button over here. Let's press this. So now we are inside this event for loop and now we are looping through all the events that are there. And if the event dot type is equals equals to pygame dot key, key down, then this means that a keystroke has been pressed on a computer. And now we have to check whether the keystroke that was pressed is left or right. So this is also pretty easy. We just again type event dot uh, this time we type in dot key because we want to find out the key that is being pressed and we just type in pygame dot key left key left and this will just check whether the key that is being pressed is the left arrow or not if that is the left arrow let's just for right now print uh, left arrow is pressed and after that I'm gonna write again I'm just gonna copy and paste this over here like this and uh, over here I'm just gonna write right and instead of k underscore left I'm gonna add the right all right so basically what this does is it checks whether any keystroke is pressed and then it checks whether the keystroke that is being pressed is left or right and after that we are gonna check uh, when the keystroke is being released so after pressing down on the left arrow key when we remove our finger from that left arrow key that is known as the removal of the keystroke or the key up so key down is pressing that key or pressing any button on the keyboard and key up is basically releasing that press. So we are going to check for that over here if event dot type is equals to equals to pi game dot key up. So hopefully we'll be able to find that key up over here. And then over here, we are just going to check if it was uh, the left key or the right arrow key and then we are going to print something. So that is pretty simple. We can just copy this from here. Let's copy this, paste this, and we are going to give a condition that if the left or the right arrow key was pressed, so we can just copy this from here. 
and put this colon mark and then over here we are just gonna write um, keystroke has been released just to so you, so you guys know what is going on and I want you to write this code down and then actually try it out yourself so that you guys know what's happening behind the scenes. So now we can just press on play and uh, over here is going to do nothing but on our print screen over here we are printing all of these things so let's press the left arrow key and see if something happens so we have to first activate our window over here and then we can press the left arrow key and you can see that the left arrow is pressed and when I remove my th finger it says keystroke has been released now what if I keep pressing on the left arrow key if I keep pressing it will just say left arrow is pressed and the keystroke has been released and similarly if I press the right arrow key it says right arrow is pressed but if I press any other key it prints nothing so let's actually uh, print a statement over here too let's say a keystroke is pressed so that we know when any other key is pressed it also runs so over here we can just uh, press the left arrow key again as you can see a keystroke is pressed left arrow key is pressed and keystroke has been released but if we press something else let's say enter it just says a keystroke is pressed and not the left and the right arrow key and that means that our keyboard strokes are working so now we can just minimize it and uh, we are going to create a new variable over here and this will signify the change that we want in x so if we want the x to move in right hand direction we need to add a uh, value to this 370 existing value and if we want it to move on the left hand side direction we need to decrease value from it so i'm gonna just uh, call it over here create a new variable and call it player x underscore change equals to and right now i'm gonna give it a value of zero and inside our if conditions when the left key is pressed i want it to increase by 0.1 and when uh, sorry decrease by 0.1 and we can change this 0.1 number it basically signifies the speed with which you want the object to move in, in this case is spaceship how quickly you want the spaceship to move and we are going to change it later and even in this video we'll see how it goes if it moves too slowly or too fast but anyways right now we are going to decrease the value when the left key is pressed and increase the value when the right key is pressed so what kind of change do we want in our x when we want the left arrow key is pressed so we are going to just write over here player x underscore change and we want to decrease the value by 0.1 let's say and when the right arrow key is pressed we want to increase this change by 0.1 so let's remove this minus value from over here and when the key is released we want the spaceship to stop moving and that is why we want the change to be zero when our uh, keystroke is released so over here we are just going to paste this over here so this is looking pretty good let's actually remove this comment from here and uh, then we can just add this player x change to our existing player x x coordinate so i'm just going to write player x plus equals to and then player x change so it doesn't matter whether we are adding over here because we have given it a value of minus 0.1 and over here we are given it a positive value so whenever something is added and the value is negative so i'm just going to give you an example all right so that you guys can understand this arithmetic properly you might be uh, thinking that why are we adding over here because we want to subtract this 0.1 right so let's say um, our current value is 370 let's say actually take a smaller value let's take our player x coordinate is 5 and then when we do plus uh, equal to so this basically means equals to 5 plus and then the value that is player x underscore change so right now this value is minus 0.1 if the k left is activated so this value will be actually minus 0.1 so after this arithmetic is processed this will turn actually into so let me just add an arrow key this will actually turn into 5 equals to 5 minus 0 0.1 and similarly if we add then the addition is pretty uh, pretty like obvious so we can just add 0 0.1 um, and this will remain the same just 0 0.1 and the value will be 5.1 so this is how this operator over here works so we don't need to worry about whether we are subtracting or adding if we have added our arithmetic operator over here in this case it's minus so this should be working let's run our main.py file and see if it is working so let's activate it and over here when we press the left arrow key our ship is moving and when we press the right arrow key our ship is moving and we when we release the keystroke it is still moving why is that the case so let's go over here and see all right so here the play x underscore change is 0 0.1 so we have to change it to value zero because we don't want it to move you can actually change it to 0 0.1 to see how it works 
how the spaceship is stopping. So let's try it again now when we move on the right hand direction and we release the keystroke, the ship actually stops. So this is looking pretty good, but the, uh, the, the speed is a little bit slow. So I'm going to increase the value to 0 0.3. And now if we run it, our speed should be sufficiently well. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. In future, we'll change the 0 0.3 to a higher value when we use the clock concept. But we are not using it right now, so this is looking pretty good. Our spaceship is moving perfectly. And just to recap what we did in this video was, first we checked whether any keystroke has been pressed on the keyboard and then if the left keystroke is pressed, then we increase or decrease the value of player exchange by 0 0.3. And if our uh, right key is pressed, then we increase the value by 0 0.3. And whenever a keystroke has been released, we make sure that the player X coordinate stops changing and that is why we have given it the value of zero to make sure that the spaceship stops and doesn't go on and then we just use this arithmetic thing over here which increases the value of player x or decreases the value of player x depending upon the value of this player x underscore change uh, so this guys this is looking pretty good in the next video if you have any queries please ask them in questions so this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to give our spaceship an enemy because right now is the space is looking very lonely for our spaceship. It's just going uh, in the space and it's not finding any planets or any enemies. So it's thinking about its existence and the meaning of life. So what's happening with me. So we are going to give it a meaning in the next video. So I'll see you over there.